Neptune is the farthest planet in our solar system. It's over 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth. Because of its extreme distance, Neptune is impossible to see with the naked eye, even from the highest points on Earth. The only way to observe it is through powerful telescopes. Despite its large size and striking blue color, it remains one of the least explored planets, shrouded in mystery and awaiting further scientific discovery. Neptune is enormous, about four times wider than Earth. Its radius measures approximately 15,300 miles, and it's large enough to fit 58 Earths inside. Unlike terrestrial planets like Earth, Neptune is made of mostly water, methane, and ammonia. These substances exist in icy forms due to the planet's cold temperatures, earning it the classification of an ice giant. Neptune doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. Instead, its thick atmosphere transitions into a dense, slushy mantle made of methane and ammonia ice. Deep beneath this layer is thought to be a rocky core. Some scientists believe Neptune could harbor a hidden ocean of superheated water deep within its layers. Despite the planet's cold exterior, this ocean could exist because of the intense pressure and heat inside the planet. This possibility makes Neptune an intriguing subject for further exploration. Neptune is one of the coldest planets in our solar system. Its average temperature is a bone-chilling negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet is so far from the sun that sunlight takes about four hours to reach it. Surprisingly, despite these icy conditions, certain areas of Neptune's atmosphere have experienced slight warming, especially near its south pole. This warming, observed between 2018 and 2020, may be linked to seasonal changes that affect its atmospheric chemistry. Despite being cold on the surface, Neptune generates an unusual amount of internal heat. Scientists believe this heat could come from a combination of gravitational compression and interactions with its largest moon, Triton. Another theory is that Neptune may have collided with a large cosmic object in the distant past releasing enormous energy still detectable today. Neptune emits nearly three times more energy than it receives from the Sun. This energy output is one of the planet's biggest mysteries. The tilt of its axis, which is similar to Earth's at 28 degrees, creates long seasons that last for about 40 Earth years each. These prolonged seasons could also influence how Neptune processes and radiates its internal heat. The atmosphere of Neptune is made up of 80% hydrogen, 19% helium, and about 1% methane, along with trace amounts of other gases. While the methane content is small, it plays a major role in shaping the planet's appearance and behavior. You might have thought lately, why is Neptune blue? Neptune's vivid blue color comes from methane in its atmosphere. Methane absorbs red light from sunlight and reflects blue light back into space, giving the planet its striking hue. Interestingly, Uranus, Neptune's neighboring ice giant, has a similar composition but appears pale blue instead. This difference may be due to variations in the density of methane fog in their atmospheres. Neptune's atmosphere is layered with aerosols that play distinct roles. The lower layer contains hydrogen sulfide ice, which is responsible for darker regions near the poles. A thin haze of methane ice particles forms in the middle layer. These particles contribute to Neptune's rich blue color. The efficiency of methane precipitation as snow in Neptune's active atmosphere helps keep this layer thinner than Uranus, intensifying its color. The upper layer is an extension of the middle layer, containing larger methane ice particles. These particles often precipitate as methane snow creating dynamic weather patterns. Neptune is home to some of the wildest and most intense storms in our solar system. The winds on this distant planet are incredibly fast, reaching speeds of up to 12,200 miles per hour. This makes Neptune's winds the strongest recorded anywhere in the solar system, far surpassing those of any other planet. These high-speed winds fuel massive storms, including enormous cyclones like the famous Big Dark Spot. Discovered in 1989 by the Voyager 2 spacecraft, this storm was about the size of Earth, swirling at incredible speeds. Unlike Jupiter's Great Red Spot, which has lasted for centuries, Neptune's storms are short-lived. 
they tend to exist for only a few years, typically between two and six, before fading away or breaking apart. Observations by the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed the dynamic nature of these storms. For instance, a new storm similar to the big dark spot was detected in 2018, only to start shifting southward the following year. Scientists expected it to disappear completely, but instead the storm reversed course and moved back north. To add to the mystery, smaller vortices have sometimes been observed splitting off from larger storms. These smaller patches of turbulence may represent part of the natural life cycle of Neptune's storms. Accompanying these cyclones are bright white clouds known as scooters, named for their rapid movement across the planet. These clouds are made of frozen methane and are often seen hovering near large storms. However, the exact mechanisms that create and sustain Neptune's storms remain an unsolved puzzle. Neptune is surrounded by a delicate system of faint rings, making it one of the few planets in the solar system to have such features. While less prominent than Saturn's famous rings, Neptune's rings are still an important part of its overall structure. They were first observed by Voyager 2 during its historic flyby in 1989. Decades later, in 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope captured new, detailed images of these rings, showcasing their structure and composition more clearly than ever before. Neptune's rings are made up of dust and ice particles, which reflect very little sunlight, making them difficult to observe without advanced instruments. There are five main rings, each named after astronomers who contributed to our understanding of Neptune. Adams, Le Verrier, LaSalle, Arago, and Galley. These rings vary in brightness, size, and composition. For example, the Adams ring is particularly narrow, while the LaSalle ring is much wider but less dense. The rings closer to the planet, such as the Galley ring, contain a higher percentage of dust, while the outer rings are composed of more ice. One of the most fascinating features of Neptune's rings is the presence of bright arcs within the Adams ring. These arcs, given names like freedom, brotherhood, and equality, are clumps of material that stand out against the otherwise faint ring. Unlike the rest of the ring material, the arcs seem to behave in unusual ways. For instance, they change in size over time and even exchange material with one another. This movement and variability are highly unusual and not fully understood by scientists. Some theories suggest that the arcs formed from the remnants of a larger object that broke apart near Neptune. The planet's strong gravitational forces may have trapped the debris into stable formations within the ring. Other researchers propose that Neptune's moons, particularly Galati, played a role in maintaining and shaping the arcs through gravitational interactions. Neptune's moons are a fascinating part of its system with Triton standing out as the largest and most intriguing satellite. Triton is an extraordinary moon, unlike any other in the solar system. It orbits Neptune in a retrograde direction, meaning it moves in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. This unusual orbit suggests that Triton did not form alongside Neptune, but was likely captured later. Scientists believe it originated in the Kuiper Belt a region of icy objects at the edge of the solar system, before being pulled into Neptune's gravitational embrace. What makes Triton even more remarkable is its icy surface, which is covered in frozen nitrogen. This reflective coating bounces back about 70% of the sunlight that strikes it, making Triton shine brightly in the darkness of space. Despite being so far from the sun, where temperatures plummet to incredibly low levels, Triton is geologically active. It holds the title of the coldest geologically active object in the solar system. The surface temperature hovers around negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet beneath its icy crust, there may be a subsurface ocean. The evidence for such an ocean comes from Triton's surface, which features a patchwork of ridges, plains, and other unusual patterns. These mosaics hint at cryovolcanism, volcanic activity involving ice rather than molten material. Voyager 2, during its flyby in 1989, captured images of geyser-like plumes on Triton which are believed to be caused by nitrogen gas escaping from beneath the surface. Sunlight might heat the nitrogen trapped under the icy crust, causing it to build pressure until it bursts out in spectacular plumes. This process creates smooth patches on Triton's surface, further supporting the idea of active geological processes. Triton's capture by Neptune likely had a significant impact on the planet's moon system. 
In the past, Neptune may have had more moons, but Triton's arrival could have disrupted their orbits, either ejecting them into space or causing collisions. Today, Neptune has a smaller number of moons compared to planets like Jupiter or Saturn, and Triton dominates the system in both size and mass. Neptune plays a significant role in shaping the distant Kuiper Belt, a region beyond its orbit filled with icy objects, dwarf planets like Pluto, and countless comets. Despite its vast distance from this belt, Neptune's gravitational pull influences the movements and orbits of many objects within it. This long-range gravitational interaction, known as resonance, helps explain why some Kuiper Belt objects, such as Pluto, follow very specific orbital patterns. For instance, Pluto is locked in a 2-3 to three resonance with Neptune, meaning that for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. The idea that Neptune has influenced the Kuiper Belt so profoundly ties into a fascinating hypothesis about its past. Many scientists believe Neptune wasn't always located where it is now. According to the migration theory, Neptune might have originally formed closer to the Sun and then gradually moved outward to its current position. This migration process likely stirred up the young solar system, scattering smaller objects outward. As Neptune settled into its new orbit, it may have helped trap certain objects in the Kuiper Belt within its gravitational reach. Without Neptune's influence, many of these objects might have been ejected entirely out of the solar system or sent hurtling inward toward the Sun. In addition to creating resonances, Neptune's gravitational presence likely prevented a full-fledged planet from forming in the Kuiper Belt. Instead of coming together to form a large planet, the icy bodies in this region remain small and scattered. By controlling the dynamics of this region, Neptune has played a crucial role in maintaining the current structure of the solar system. Well, Neptune remains one of the least explored planets in the solar system, and it still holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. One of the biggest mysteries about Neptune is its internal composition. Scientists know it's primarily made of water, ammonia, and methane, but the exact structure of its interior remains unclear. Does it have a global ocean beneath its thick atmosphere, or is its core more like a solid rock? These questions are hard to answer without sending spacecraft closer to study the planet. Another intriguing mystery lies in understanding how Neptune and other icy giants like Uranus formed. While gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn have been studied extensively, the unique properties of ice giants suggest they followed a different path of formation. Scientists are eager to learn how these planets gathered their icy compositions and why they emit so much internal heat, especially since Neptune emits nearly three times the energy it receives from the Sun. While Voyager 2 provided groundbreaking data in the 1980s, modern telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are now revealing Neptune in greater detail. However, telescopes alone are not enough. Spacecraft specifically designed to orbit Neptune or conduct close flybys could provide the detailed measurements and observations necessary to unravel its mysteries. The next generation of missions could revolutionize our understanding of Neptune and its role in the broader story of our solar system. Exploring this distant planet isn't just about learning more about Neptune. It's about uncovering the processes that shaped our solar system and perhaps even gaining insights into similar planets around other stars. With the rapid advancement of space technology, the day we unlock Neptune's secrets might not be too far away. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested to know more about planets, don't forget to watch our video on what did we learn from the first real pictures of Mercury. See you again. Bye.